Okay, Jason, tell me about this morning. So, uh, this morning, uh, myself and the Montgomery County Office of Emergency Management uh, went out to the um, missing child scene out in Montgomery uh, to assist uh, in trying to locate the kids. Um, we were given a, a location off of uh, Forest Service Road 224 to um, move to that area to, to keep an eye out for the kids in that area. Uh, while we were in there, uh, we were notified that a citizen that lives uh, in the area um, had gone out into the uh, to the forest there and uh, was able to hear the kids and, and find them um, and it had called 911. Uh, nine, Montgomery County 911 was able to get a GPS location uh, from that citizen's phone when he called in to 911 um, and they were able to provide us with GPS coordinates. Um, from the GPS coordinates, I was able to determine that I was probably about four to 500 yards um, away from where that coordinate was at. Um, but because the, the thickness of the forest there, it, it took about a half hour on foot to get in. Um, I was able to locate uh, the kids with uh, that gentleman uh, that had gone in, um, and we were able to get them brought out um, back to Forest Service Road 224. Uh, to be evaluated by uh, Montgomery County Hospital District and then be reunited with their parents. What uh, reaction the kids when they first saw you, when you first got to them? The, the kids were, were happy, uh, they were wet, and they were hungry. Uh, the first thing that they told me when I found them is that they really wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> what about, tell me about the guy that found them. Uh, the guy that found them uh, lives in the area, um, decided that he wanted to go out and, and offer his assistance. Um, and by the grace of God, he was able to find uh, them in the woods and at least get enough cell service to contact 911 where we were able to locate him based on that signal. Um, and then I was able to go in um, and locate them and get them brought back out. Cell service, pretty pretty uh, marginal out there, isn't it? Yeah, cell service was, was not good in the area. Um, cell providers, you know, some weren't working at all. Uh, the thickness of the of the forest was was very very dense. Uh, being there were, because of the overcast and rainy conditions today, being able to locate waypoints, you know, like the sun or something, to be able to determine direction was was difficult. Um, and we were actually using uh, sirens from emergency vehicles on the roadway so that I could listen and try to determine which which pathway we needed to take to get out of the woods. So if this would have been last night, you in the woods trying to find them uh, been a little more difficult coming out too? It definitely in the middle of the night. I mean, trying to find a waypoint in the middle of the night to, to even know your bearings is going to be difficult. You know, putting the rain on top of it uh, just made conditions even more harsh. Uh, the, the thickness of, of the, the forest, you know, once, once you're about 10 feet inside, uh, there's, there's no seeing back where you came from. Uh, it's, it basically, you're just surrounded at that point. What about uh, kids coming out? I mean, it, it took you a little while to get out of there too. Just uh, trying to uh, pin drop and sirens and everything else getting out of there. Yeah, it it, it was difficult to use uh, mapping because of the rain. It was it was making it where you know devices were hard to to get them to cooperate. Um, and and getting the kids out through that terrain uh, did take a little bit of time, um, but we were able to get them out. Um, utilizing the audio uh, signals from sirens on the roadway to kind of give give me a waypoint to, to keep working towards. Did they say how they got lost and all? You know, we didn't we didn't really talk about that in there. Um, I was more excited myself to, to be able to see them, to see that they were okay, and uh, I wanted to make sure that, that we kept them in good spirits uh, because we did have a little bit of work to get back out from where we were at. What about the resident that uh, came out? He yeah, had a the, kind of rough time coming out too. Yeah, the the resident, you know, he he was tired. Um, I, I was tired. Kids were tired. Um, we just we just took it at a slow space. He did a he did a heck of a job. Um, you know, we we owe a lot to him uh, for being able to locate him. What did he say when he came? Did he just come up on him or? Yeah, he said that you know he decided he wanted to go out and and see if he could you know lend his assistance and you know. All, all I can say is, is God bless those kids with that man. What about the parents? How what was their reaction to seeing the kids? Oh, I mean, par parents were excited. They've they've got their kids back. You know, they're they're healthy. They're safe. 
Uh, they just need some dry clothes um, and, and a cheeseburger. Looks like you need some dry clothes too from the picture. Uh, it, it was a little wet. I, uh, I found parts of the forest um, still with me uh, when I got home to get changed out. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was a little wet this morning, but but totally worth it. Well, you're having some issues uh, coming out too with the ping with the ping drops or the pin drops on your phone too. Trying to watch your phone. Yeah, yeah. Try once I got in there, even my cell service was was bad, and and trying to get you know the the, the compass for me to work, you know, was was a little difficult. Um, so we we kind of improvised and and used the good old fashioned senses to to listen to where we needed to get to. You said anybody, I know last night there were a lot of people up saying, you know, hey, we can volunteer, we can volunteer. Uh, what been turning into more search and rescue with some more volunteers that are not familiar with the area? It, you know, it, it really would. You know, last night weather conditions were allowing uh, the sheriff's office to utilize um, Montgomery, or I'm sorry, Texas DPS helicopters, drones. We were able to get up above the tree line last night and, and try to look at that point. Um, but the more people we put in there, the more, you know, the more times that we're, we're seeing folks that's not who we're looking for. We're seeing, you know, volunteers and folks in the woods, you know, u utilizing infrared um, and then mobilizing resources to those areas only to find out that that's somebody that we didn't even know was there. So those are the things that make it a little more difficult. You know, we, we definitely appreciate the, the community's help and offering of assistance. It's things like that that's what makes... Montgomery County, one of the greatest places to work and live. Everybody's always willing to help and, and show up and do their part. Uh, we just have to make sure that we all work together, that we're all on the same page. Uh, that way we can focus on the mission that we're working on and, and we, don't have, we don't deviate from the plan uh, and deviate from what we're doing um, and cause additional work that requires us to pull resources from the whole reason that we're out there. It's, uh, it's not the first one. It's, it's been, the children not the first ones lost out there. There's been over the years quite a few lost out there on the trails out there. What can you suggest to people going out there on those trails? I mean, there's a lot of times there's kids just uh, vandals uh, tearing signs down, trail markers down. Uh, some going into the woods and trying to find their way back out. I mean, they're not, the National Forest is not small at all. It's not a little subdivision road, uh, piece of wooded area. No, no, definitely not. I mean. Get, getting through the woods was, was very difficult. There are trails that run all through there. Um, these kids were not found on a trail. Um, I didn't go past where we located them to see how close they were to a trail or not. Uh, but the best bet is if you're not familiar with the woods, you know, make sure that you at least have you know, a map and a compass. You know, old fashioned maps and compasses don't, don't require cell service and make sure you know how to use them. You know, if you're gonna go out in the woods, you know, go out and enjoy what God gave us to look at. Uh, but make sure that, that you, you've educated yourself on, on how to read a map and how to use things like that um, so that you know how to get back to where you came from. Um, you know, of course, kids, you know, take your kids out in the woods. You know, teach them how to, how to do these things. Teach them how to be responsible out there and, and, and be able to utilize the tools that we have. We can't uh, get to the point where we're so dependent on, on cell phones and technology that we forget that we still have good old fashioned devices that, that still work and always will. Anything else you want to add? That's about it. Man. Okay.